You know, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of dealing with two different hubs with my Philips Hue system and having one set of lights here and one set of lights there and they can't talk to each other. It just creates a ton of problems. Fortunately, Philips has come out with a solution that apparently works fantastic. And since I'm having to change my home router out anyways, because I'm having some congestion problems where it's cutting off my bandwidth, I decided to go ahead and get the Hue Pro Bridge and get it set up before I get my new mesh system installed so I don't have to deal with that and all my lights will get migrated. And yeah, it's gonna be way better. So let me show you what I got to work with. So my current two hubs sit here behind my TV and it's all nice and hidden. I got my switch down there. So I'm gonna mount the new hub right there. Not plugged in yet, but once I get it in the app, there's a tool that will automatically migrate my hubs and I'll be done with this mess. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected. We'll get the app open and we'll get it configured. First, I'm gonna do the ethernet and then power. And I really like they use USB-C for power. So the light's on. Now, one really cool thing is it's got a QR code that you can scan when you add the device. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get the app open. Okay, so now it's plugged in, it's ready. As you see, it's here waiting for connection. So let's get in the app. We go to settings and we go to bridges. And we're going to add a bridge and here we scan the qr code that's on the back green check mark awesome network cable connect the bridge search now you got to touch the button in the middle connected <laughs> already got an update so let's update now yes automatic updates all right so it's all downloaded it's preparing to install now i will say all the previous hubs you had to wire it you could not do wireless so it is nice that they give you the ability now with this device to do it wireless. So you could basically put it anywhere you wanted, but I'm the firm believer that it's always better to have things wired if you can, than it is to have wireless. So if I can wire it, it's getting wired. All right, the bridge is up to date. Next, are both LEDs solid white? Yes, they are. Press the button on your bridge. There we go. So this. Migrate to your bridge pro from another bridge. Yes, move devices. It's listing both hubs. I'm gonna select both hubs. The inside is a primary hub, so click next. My inside hub is the main bridge. Next, would you like to replace an existing bridge? Yes, next. That's great. Migration is about to begin. Start. That can't be any easier. I mean, holy cow. So we're gonna let this run. And then when this finishes, we'll be back. All right, first hub migration is done. It asked me to reset the bridge, which I need to do. So on the bottom of the old one is a reset. Hold it down. And now it's rebooting and it's resetting. All right, I have, so now I check, I have reset my bridge. Let's finish things up. Got it, next. Now we'll start migrating the bonus room. Next, 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 got it, start. Okay, preparing bonus room. Again, can't be any easier. So we'll let that run and I'll be back. Okay, second hub is done. And so now I have to reset it as well. So let me reset this. All right, so that's resetting. So I reset my bridge, got it, done now. We should go in here and I only have one bridge, but I have all of my devices, one bridge. That's awesome. <laughs> That's gonna make things so much easier. And another bonus, now that I have the Pro, I can actually use their room sensing capabilities with their lights, which I couldn't do with the regular hub. So I'm gonna have to set that up and test that out. And I'll probably make another video on that, but this could not have been any easier. Now I have one hub and I'm excited. So don't forget to hit that subscribe, hit that like button. I sure appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, hit the comment section and we'll see you next time.